Hello everyone, welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I am going to discuss how you can run your automation test on older versions of Chrome browser. The Chrome team started a very relevant initiative for the testing community that is Chrome for testing. Chrome for testing is a new flavor of Chrome browser that is specifically created for web app testing and automation. As we know, Chrome's ability to auto update, though the browser is getting updated automatically, but as an automation user who is running end to end tests, will face the challenges like browser binaries compatibility. Because to run the test on the latest Chrome browser, we need to update the compatible binaries as well. But with the CFT browser, we can run our test on a specific browser version without worrying about browser updates because the CFT browser does not update automatically. So Selenium also provides the support of CFT. Using Selenium also, now we can execute our test on older version of Chrome browser. We can run our test on Chrome version 113 onwards. 113 is the oldest Chrome version where we can run our test. So let's see how we can run our test on an older version of Chrome browser. To start with, first of all, you need to make sure that the minimum version of your Selenium web driver is 4.11.0. If you are using any version of Selenium less than 4.11.0, then this is not going to work. You won't be able to run your test on an older version of Chrome because the CFT support is introduced in Selenium version 4.11.0. So the minimum version of Selenium required is this. Now, once you have that Selenium version installed, either 4.11.0 or greater than that, then you can run your test on an older version of Chrome browser. Now, to do that, I'm going to create the Chrome options using options variable. After that, I'm going to set the browser version using the browser version property of the option variable. And then here you can set the browser version where you want to run your test. Let's say I'm going to run my test on the browser version 114. Now I'm going to open my original Chrome browser. And if I can show you that what is the current version of my browser. So this is the latest version of the Chrome browser 119 which I have on my machine. But I wanted to run my test on the version 114. Now, because I have the latest version of Chrome 119 installed on my machine, so I don't need to uninstall my current Chrome browser version and then reinstall the older version. I don't need to do that. That's the reason why Chrome for testing browsers comes into picture. Now, what we need to do to run test on an older version here, I have provided the browser version as 114. After that, let me create the web driver instance using the Chrome driver. And then I can pass the Chrome options here. Once done, I'm going to navigate to a web page URL. Let's say the web page is flipkart.com so i'm going to navigate to this url and i'm not going to close the browser instance so that we can see the browser version here you might have noticed that i'm not using any web driver manager nor i have provided a browser driver binary path while initiating the web driver the reason is that selenium version 4.11.0 onwards Auto driver binaries manager feature comes by default with the name as Selenium Manager. So now we don't need to use a third party library like Web Driver Manager to manage the browser binaries. Selenium now by default provides the auto download or automatically manages the browser binaries. The moment we create the instance of a Web Driver object using the browser driver, then this will check whether the latest binary of the browser version is available or not. This is going to check the version of the browser installed on the machine. 
if the compatible binary is not available, then first this is going to download a new binary for us before running the test. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my test. Just to let you know that this is not going to install my original Chrome browser from the machine or not going to install the other instance. What this is going to do is it will install Chrome for testing browser. It will look for the Chrome for testing browser installed on my machine with the specified version. If it is available, then it is going to run my test on CFT version 114. But if CFT browser with the same version is not installed, then first it is going to install the CFT browser on my machine of the provided version. So if you are running your test for the first time for a specific browser version, then it is going to first download the Chrome for testing browser on your machine with the specified version. And after that, it will run the test. Now you can see that it invoked Chrome for testing browser. Here you can see the browser version as 114. So this is not the original Chrome browser, but the separate Chrome browser for testing. And here it also says that this is only for automated testing. For regular browsing, use a standard version of Chrome that updates automatically. Now you can see that we have been navigated to flipkart.com. And if I go to the about section of browser, then you can see this is the Chromium version 114. So this is not the original Chrome browser. Now, let's say if you want to run your test on another browser version that is 116, then you can just change the browser version to 116 here. And then I'm going to run this test. This time, my test execution is going to take more time because the CFT browser version 116 is not available on my machine. So first it will install the browser on the machine and then the test will run. Once browser download is finished, a new browser instance will get invoked and you can see this Chrome for testing browser version is 116. This is how you can run your test on different versions of Chrome browsers. So far, I have provided the fixed browser version over here, but you can also provide the different labels instead of the browser version. For example, you can provide the values like stable, beta. When you provide the value stable, then this will run the test on the current stable version of CFT browser. And if you provide the version as beta, then this will run the test on the next version to be stable. So this is how you can provide the different values also other than the fixed browser versions. You can go to the Chrome for testing web page and here you can see that what I mean by beta version, dev, canary or stable. When you provide the value as stable against the browser version, then this is going to run the test on this version. If you provide the value as beta, then this is going to run on this version. So this is how you can run your test on different versions of Chrome browser. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.